big announcement family you know what i mean i feel so i feel like right now you know what i mean i feel like i can book a flight and go to jamaica right now with no you know what i mean bad feelings about kenya family so this is but jam tours got his refund jam tours got his refund from the mongo and um you know what i mean i just want to come guys and actually you know share this news with you because as you know guys you know you are the guys that help me you're the one that's give me information you are the guys that encourage me welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is pebbles thank you for always coming back to watch me it is a pleasure but if you're new here and you like my content consider subscribing to my channel everyone don't forget to hit the like button thank you for 2,000 subscribers I think I already thank you guys yes four months 2,000 subscribers sometimes my um, videos don't get a lot of um, likes or views and I know the videos that don't get a lot, lot, lot a lot of likes and views the ones that are not related to any sort of drama and major drama or I'm not bashing people I'm not going hard on the bashing but um, guys I, I can't I can't wake up every day and do that I, I just can't I just have to be me and I have to be fair and I like to be balanced and, and fair and I know that it won't get me a lot of likes but you have to understand that um, this is a public platform and I also have to be careful what I say number one is I don't know who is out there watching me okay <laughs> I'm just gonna smile at that one I don't know who out there will recognize me so I have even though I am not using my real name if you guys think this is my real name that I'm using actually it is not um, but yeah you have to be we have to be careful what we put out there what we say what comes out of our mouth because you never know who may recognize you online and some things that we say may be bad and it can ruin you so I'm sorry even though sometimes I don't get a lot of um, likes and clicks and views because I am not going hard and I'm not calling people really really nasty names and bashing them that's okay that's okay um, I am really thankful for those who support me even when I'm not going hard on the people who I react on okay thank you very much and thank you all for 2,000 subscribers in a short period of time today discussion will be about Dean Wango and Mawa and I will just touch briefly on Dean Wango what I want to do is congratulations 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 you did it you did it you got a US visa yay so finally I think we got her US visa she is extremely happy and yeah welcome to America <laughs> She's very, she's very happy about it and she promised to only show the good areas in America or the good things about America and not the bad things. I don't know if she was throwing shades on a Coke Girl and Christmas List, but I think mostly they show the bad areas in the Caribbean. They don't really show the bad areas in a lot of other countries. It's mostly the Caribbean. Oh, the other thing that I want to mention is, you know, a lot of them go to Jamaica to get their visas i'm telling you and it's it's another reason why they love jamaica so much it's because they can get visa easier there than in their country africa and i think what did the very same thing he went to jamaica and he's, he got his visa and i know yes a lot of you will come into my comment section and will say to me oh no what am i had his visa long time ago if he did why would he have to go around the world to get to Jamaica? Because what am I had to go through so many different countries to get to Jamaica, then to get to Trinidad, then to get to Barbados? If he had a visa, it, it, all he had to do was fly to JFK, one of the major hubs, flying to Florida, flying to Miami, and then go on from there. 
No, he did not have a visa. He went to Jamaica and he got his visa, okay? And that came from Asafa Powell, I heard. A couple months ago in a video that Asafa was doing, he was supposed to have a lunch with Wodemaya and he said Wodemaya is busy trying to get his visa straight and apparently, you know, what it, um, Asafa Powell said, a lot of them go to Jamaica to get their visa there because it is much easier. So don't come for me, it came from the horse's mouth. Even if um, Wodemaya had visa from two years ago, that must have expired and he had to reapply. And so he went to Jamaica to apply for it. I know his wife had visa, but Wodemaya did not have visa. But correct me if I'm wrong and you have proof. <laughs> Who knows but yes guys just so you know that's why they all flock to Jamaica that's one of the reasons why they flock to Jamaica so after I made this video from 10 a.m. yesterday I've been trying to upload it and I'm, I'm having difficulty and um, but this morning I woke up it's like 6 30 in the morning I woke up and I saw you know I'm watching YouTube videos I'm an early riser and I saw this video from jam tours stating that his um he got his money from Dean Wango. Finally! Oh my goodness! Congratulations to Jam Tours for winning, for winning, winning this lawsuit over D, who took his money and didn't want to return it. Okay, the Airbnb saga. This is what um on trending am quarrel and all these other uh, reactors have been fighting for for a very long time and this is one of the reasons why dean wango is sending reactors cease and desist letters because they are outing d putting this on the street to let everybody know that d took money from a jamaican man and didn't want to repay it okay i will leave the clip here but congratulations um jam tours for getting your money i'm really really excited and um people can go ahead and and talk about the scamming now because hey it's there it's proof that you know that this did happen so <laughs> you can try to sue people as much as you want to recoup her money it won't happen yes congratulations jam towards and d please don't do this to anyone else especially another jamaican and jamaicans please try to stand up for your own people and stop dogging your people for foreigners if d didn't do something wrong she would not have had to pay this man back his money he got all his money back okay but yes 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 this is one of the reasons why d was also sad in jamaica because she had to pay this man back his money big announcement family you know what i mean i feel so i feel like right now you know what i mean i feel like i can book a flight and go to jamaica right now with no you know what i mean bad feelings about kenya family so this is some big news big announcement family i just want to let you guys for my, my fans and my well wishes and you know what I mean I don't think I have any haters I don't have to say it for the haters family but Jam Tours got his refund Jam Tours got his refund from the Mongo and um, you know what I mean I just want to come guys and actually you know share this news with you because as you know guys you know you are the guys that help me you're the one that give me information you are the guys that encourage me to all of the reactors them Modesta Lifestyle Coco Mama and trending am coral black beauty king of travel you know what i mean and all of the kenyans um you know reactors them you know i think nairobi teacher and some other one you know what i mean some sour some some other little tv and other things you know what i mean but all of these people want to big them up and all of the keyboard reactors um the person who comment and say jam tours go to the small claims court so you know what i mean that's when they make you guys know that I have nothing bad or anything bad to say about them one go them um you know i have nothing against them i wish they move on and they go on to have billions of views on youtube billions of subscribers and everybody support them family but i just want to let you guys not you know good over evil life over death injustice over just um justice over injustice you know what i mean and you know what i mean honesty over dishonesty you know there's so much to say and if you know anything else family comment it below but all of these things i just want to get you guys know that you know what i mean life is all about that and 
let's move on to Ayamawa and his Q&A. But first of all, before I get to his Q&A, let's congratulate Mawa as well. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of congratulations I'm giving out tonight, a lot. Because why? Ayamawa got furniture. <laughs> pearly white, pearly white furniture in his um, shopping mall, museum, slash villa. Okay, so he got white furniture and a lot of his subscribers were saying, Marwa, how could you get white furniture? It's going to get dirty. That is not a public house. That is not a private house. It is public. You know, too much traffic through there. It's going to get dirty. Why didn't you get leather? If you wanted white or something like that, all you had to do was just get leather furniture. Finally, Rocio picked what she wanted, guys. So let it be. Leave it alone. She picked what she wanted. Tweet what she saw on Instagram. Because a lot of people, that uh, that fabric was actually trending a lot last year on Instagram. All the Instagram people or influencers, that was the fabric they bought. That's the type of sofa they bought to put in their apartments or their homes yes it's similar to like a cloud furniture kind of thing a cloud sofa or whatever but um yeah yeah the fabric a close-up of the fabric you if it gets dirty you can't scrub it with a brush or anything like that like how you would be able to scrub suede and, and leather um you can't really scrub it because if you scrub it, it will ruin the fabric. So I don't know if they're going to get any sort of covering, but please child, don't get any plastic covering. Remember back in the day, guys, when the furniture was just there and you can't sit in it? Like if you're from the Caribbean, raise your hand. If your parents, or even in America, some, some, some parents, they had furniture, it was just there for show. You can't sit in it. <laughs> And it had a plastic on it oh my goodness ugly you know so i don't know if the furniture will just be there for show and no one will be able to sit in it because i really dislike that that what's the purpose of buying furniture and you can't use it it's just for show so we'll see perhaps it's just for show it will be a showroom at the villa perhaps that's what it will be <laughs> we shall see so yes guys he got his furniture pretty happy for him he was excited and yeah now let's move on to his q and a and uh, you know marwa people ask him questions and he gives them the answer and it was like a two hour thing so i'm going to break it down for you and then i'll put the small snippets in the video of you know his answers etc etc so the first question was where he love his baby and marwa confirmed that the baby will be born in argentina in fact he will be going to Argentina for two years and will not be back in Kenya within those two years and then there are people who are upset that he will remove the child away from his family and only have the child with one grandparent in Argentina for two years they felt like the child should also be a part of Africa and two years is too long for him to be there with his child so I don't know. He definitely says he will not be in America, okay? Just in case people were wondering um, if he will have the kid in the US, he will not. And a lot of people have to understand that you can't just jump on a plane and come to America to have a kid. It is not that easy anymore. And Rocio wants to have the kid at home and it's not that easy to have a child in America at home either. So it's best that she have that child in um, Argentina. In America, you have to pay now. It's not free and it's a lot of money. You need insurance and all of that. And if you don't pay, a lot of some people don't pay and they skip and go back to their country. And listen, everything, all these systems are connected. So with him trying to come back to visit, they will see that he owes money and then they made the deny him entry who knows but he'll be in argentina tomorrow uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no joke any plans to come to india again yes i will come that one is for sure 
Countries that I do not intend to visit right now that I've visited before, maybe the US. I do not intend to visit the US, maybe for the next two years. Someone asked him about the furniture that Matua's wife promised, like not the furniture, but the renovations for the kitchen that she promised, like, you know, to give them stuff in the kitchen. And he said he'll ask her. And then someone asked about the guy who promised the table, Ebola or Ebole. And he said that, I don't think he responded to that one. I'm not sure. But these people made promises that they can't keep. According to Mawa, it will cost $10,000 to finish that kitchen. 10,000 US dollars. Where is Matua's wife going to get 10,000 US dollars? Those people don't seem like they are rich. That would be all of Matua's YouTube money <laughs> if he makes that much. Because honestly, I think Matua probably makes four, five thousand 5,000 a year on YouTube. So he would have to put up his hard her earned money to finish kitchen for Mawa. Mawa says it's $10,000 each kitchen and he has five. Sha, these people are something else. Oh, someone gave him some donations and he said that he will not be calling it donations anymore because we are jealous or reactors are jealous or people are jealous because we're not blessed like him to get free things and for people to just give us free things. They see him and they probably think he's always crying for money and stuff. So that's why they give him things. It's not because hey he's blessed and all of that nonsense no it's because he always cry poor mouth and he always put things out there and yeah people some people are kind and he play on the heart of their kindness and so he gets donations and we'll always call it donations mawa because it is what it is ah big man thank you so much for donating 20 us dollars it's long since i received a donation so thank you so much and uh this is purely to support Actually, I'm not be calling them donations anymore. I'll be calling them support because I've I've had people who don't like when they see someone gifting me stick side eye. They always say Maru is begging, but uh, I understand them because they have never seen that grace in their life. So um, the other thing that he mentioned. And he didn't want to talk about Vinalani because he said that it's private, yada, yada, yada. He also discussed that after his baby is born and if reactors dare talk about his family, he will be sending letters and he swear on the Bible that he will be sending letters to reactors, okay? Cease and desist talking about his family. That's going to be a no-no. But Marwa reaction is allowed. Reaction is, is here to say and people are going to continue to react because you put all your business out there and even someone in his comment section said that like we're here and you're putting all of your business, all of it. There is no secret in his life, okay? Because he put everything on the internet and so when you do that, people are going to discuss it. They're going to talk about it. So don't get upset about it, puppy. Don't. And to me, old people and children are off limits. So I don't expect to talk about his kid. I, I, kids to me and old people should be off limits, especially if they're not um, a YouTuber. Right. Uh, Liverpool Lassa says, so sad about Vinnie and Lenny. I don't want to talk about them. And the thing is, uh, initially I thought it was a joke, like uh, maybe it's just a joke. But I think I'll call I'll call my brother to know what happened. But that does not mean I'll I'll tell you what happened. No, those are grown grown people, and they know what they want in their lives. But all I know is these interracial relationships can be really tough, really tough, guys. They could be really tough because sometimes we have cultural differences, and also I tend to think also from the families, each 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 of us families. Sometimes they would prefer you dating your own. In this case, for example, if I'm Kenyan, I date. Or if I'm black, I date black. If I'm white, I date white. So sometimes that, that can bring a lot of issues, guys. And um, that's why sometimes people are just happy to break you down, to say things. Like me, I've promised myself, anyone after my kid is born, anyone who will be coming after my family on social media, it will be a lawsuit. That one I've said, I've said, and I will still repeat. Once I have my kid born, anyone coming after my family, like trying to destroy and, 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 and 
reacting and saying this. It will be a lawsuit. No matter where you are, it will be a lawsuit. That one, I have promised myself. Because I'm always a soft-spoken guy. I don't like chasing people or ch like, like, let's meet in court. I'm not that type of guy. Sometimes I watch videos and say, these guys are just hungry. They are looking for money through my name. But I think there are some red lines that you shouldn't cross. Even my sister is taking some legal actions to some people who are willing to destroy her brand. And one thing these people don't understand is it takes us time, a lot of money to build this brand. Time and a lot of money to build these brands that we are today at half a million. You can imagine for eight years, guys, making videos every single day. How much money have I spent just to build that brand? How much time have I put in it? Then some guy just comes and, and calls you names, calls you a scammer, calls you this, says that, just because they have a platform. No, it doesn't go like that. Sometimes people have to respect families. Families are important. I think everything in this world that we have is family. Forget about the money, forget about the fame. I think money is important, but it can't be as important as family, you know? So when people just come after your family left, right, center, just because they can talk, no, it's too much. And sometimes these things affect people directly, you know? It can, it can cause losses. Because when somebody goes to the internet and say, says, oh, this guy is a scammer. Maybe a company watches that and they'll be like, no, maybe he could be a scammer. We are not sure. Then they, you lose, you destroy a brand that somebody has really worked hard for to build. It's something I'll have to tell you, you know? A reactors uh, are ruin, ruining his family by, you know, ruining their brand and, you know, calling him scammer and stuff like that. And he works so hard for his brand and people are calling him scammer. And family is important and they're trying to ruin his family. Family is more important than money. But my thing is, look how he treated Alex and his family. Like, he didn't even want Alex to go home to his wife. For days and days, Alex had to sneak out sometimes to go visit his wife. He didn't care about Alex's family. Mawa only cares about himself and his family. He's kind of selfish when it comes to certain things. Um, also, he called other people scammer as well. So someone call him scammer, why is he getting, getting upset about that? People know why they're calling him scammer, right? Didn't he ask Sir Edwards to call him so he can tell him that fellow the boy is a scammer? he was trying to ruin fellow the boy so hey mawa don't get upset if people are out there now calling you a scammer buddy his subs keep demanding that he needs to propose to rocio since she's pregnant and he should marry her before the baby is born and mawa politely told them that he is happy shacking up he's happy with rocio so he doesn't understand why people are pushing for him to marry her and i agree with that like i'm sorry but shouldn't you wanting to marry someone comes from you and comes from the heart. Why should you be forced into getting married? Why? I just never believe in that. Okay? Like people forcing you to get married. Like that marriage will never work. Marrying someone is not going to make you stay with them. <laughs> it won't. There are a lot of people getting divorced these days. Okay? And for who knows, perhaps some of them were forced to get married. Honestly, though, I think it's never a good idea to get married because of an unplanned pregnancy, you know, and I think it's one of the reasons why they're pushing them so much to get married. Um, you know, getting married for the wrong reasons, like I say, sets one up for higher risk of divorce, you know, and these people, a lot of people believe in these shotgun wedding, like you get pregnant, then, you know, you should run and you should go get married because you shouldn't have kids out of wedlock. But I'm not going to go into that because people will come for me. <laughs> I just feel like getting married should be because you want to get married and because you're in a committed relationship with one another. And both of you agree that this is something you want, not just one party. Okay? That's how I feel. You should propose, give her a ring. The wedding can come sooner or later. Okay, guys. As you know, I swear before God, Nothing like proposing has ever crossed my mind. Me, I live with Rocio. I'm very happy. Sometimes I feel like proposing is just like a way of just trying to show the world. But personally, I always find Rocio as an amazing person. And I've always seen her as a good partner. Sometimes it's very hard for interracial relationships. 
especially in a place where uh, the white are minority. Because sometimes they feel like, like Rocio, when Rocio has lost her phone, maybe she may think she's targeted. Maybe she may feel like, okay, maybe this place is not safe for me to stay. Uh, but I always say, uh, find all reasons. I always tell Rocio like this. Find all reasons to say goodbye. But find one to say, I will stay. <laughs> yes, guys, that's why I always tell Rocio. Find all reasons to say goodbye. But find one to say, I will stay. Um, the other thing is, the other thing is what he talk about oh that he's looking for investors to build his village and he wants Getriba to build a mansion next to his house and he said how the haters Getriba shouldn't Getriba shouldn't mind the haters like the reactors who are jealous um, he should build a huge, 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 huge mansion, regardless of what people say. It's a business if you want to buy land and build. I'm actually looking for investors from outside that people who really want to build like big houses, not small, small, big houses in here in the village. I want to build a community which is more international and 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 uh, and and local. You know, uh, imagine people are coming from the U.S. to study about our village. See how, how far we've come. People are coming, traveling thousands of miles to study about this village in Africa that YouTube has changed, you know. One of my biggest desires is to see Giti River now start building his, his house and a nice house. We will not be intimidated by the naysayers who say, oh, why is Giti River trying to build a big house and he doesn't have money? We will build a big house. Call them scammers because what Gitriba will do is start this huge mansion, then go on the internet, starts to cry about, oh, I need this, oh, I need that, oh my God, what am I going to do, oh. And then he plays on the hearts of those old people who are vulnerable, vulnerable. And they're gonna see pity and then they're going to go in their little piggy bank go to their social security um you know cash box and or, or account and pull money out and send to get to to build these huge mansion that is scamming that is a form of scamming because you play on people's heart that is my thought tell me what you guys think okay i mean people are free to do whatever they want to do but within limits, you can't play on people hard. You can't expect people to build these huge mansions for you. If you know you, if I know I can't afford something, do you think I'm going to go out there and buy it and then expect someone else to pay for it just because I want it? That is what I want. No, I make sure that I can afford things before I go out there and get them. Okay, or before I start building. And make sure that I can afford to. If I if I know deep in my heart that I can't afford to, I won't because I'm not going to put myself in that expense and expect other people to pay for it for me. But hey, that's just me. These people in the village, they are greedy. And Mawa also talk about people being greedy and stuff. But this is a part of being greedy, Mawa. You know, you talk about people being greedy and that's going to be their downfall. This right here, you telling him to build a mansion knowing that he can't afford it, is greed. That is greed right there, okay? And Marwa talks about people he helped and how they leave. Now, I know that he fired a lot of people. He said there are people, young guys in the village who we help and if they decide to leave, when they leave, they bash him and that's on them and he'll never go back to helping them, yada, yada, yada. But Mawa fired all these people. Elia, Mogesi, African Village Cook, Strongman254, you know, and many, many others that I can't even remember. You know, he fired them. He did, and after he fired them, he told his subscribers, go and unsubscribe from these people. He took back what he gave them. For the for, for the barter service 
So they didn't leave. He just let them go. I don't know what he was talking about with that one, but perhaps you guys can tell me. Maybe I missed something. He bragged about how he always he was always able to get beautiful women. And when he said that, and he said and, and he said he told Rocio the same thing, like, I always get beautiful women. Go check my YouTube video. All these women I have are beautiful. I, I don't know. I'm blessed. I always get beautiful women. But well, Mawa has to realize that he get beautiful women because it was a barter service. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. The beautiful women that he got are from these countries, that are basically poor countries. And um, these women didn't have money or anything. So they saw him as their savior. And that's why he got these women. He couldn't pick up one of these women in America. He could not. Why? Because independent women, they have their own money and they would not give Ayamawa the time of day. Now, Mawa forgot that he told us when he was a goat herder, goat herder and he had absolutely nothing. No one wanted him in his village. Nobody wanted him in his village because he was a nobody. Now that he has money, with money comes power and there are a lot of things, beautiful women. We call them gold diggers. We don't even call them beautiful women. We call them gold diggers. I ain't saying I'm a gold digger. I ain't messing with no broke. I ain't saying I'm a gold digger. I ain't messing with no broke. <laughs> that's what we call them, guys. That, that's what you got. Okay, you were a passport broke. And you got these girls, many of them through the internet. But when I met Rocio, I, uh, one thing I love to say is this. I've always been very lucky to date beautiful girls. Very lucky. Sometimes I tell Rocio this. And, 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 and uh, maybe we can argue here and there small. But I've always been lucky to date beautiful girls. Very lucky. If you watch, watch, at, watch my videos... I'm always like a lucky guy with girls. I don't know. Even me, I think it's magical. But you know, um, I, will, I will tell you one of my trick. Or what could be the reason? It's because me from day one, I'm very honest. Me, I say, I, 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 I say what is in my mind. I tell the girl what I think. Day one, I don't wait day two, day three, day... From day one, she, she will decide if this is wrong guy. But some girls can actually get turned off. Says, ah, this guy is too fast. This guy is... No, me, I like day one, I tell you. Because maybe this is the day that the Lord has made. Me, when I met Rocio the first time, I wanted to take her to a local restaurant. Rocio said, no, I can't go to those local restaurants. I said, okay, you find the restaurant that you like. But me, I like this local restaurant next to the road here. People playing music and, you know. So now that I am with her, she's not shocked. She's not shocked that this is the type of guy she's dating. <laughs> so, be honest. You know, like Rocio knows, I've always uh, wanted to date more than, uh, like not date, but marry more than one wife. But now since she came, we've negotiated, we agreed, if we have more kids, then there's no meaning of me getting an extra wife. But at least she knew that from the start. It's not like something she will come in the middle, then after we are in the middle of a relationship, then I shock her. Oh, I'm like this. No. That is not being fair to other people. Just, just be honest. You know? Honesty and how he was honest to a lot of the women that he was with. And, on, and any woman he met and, and I agree with him on that like wh why deceive people the truth always come out so I feel like people should be honest with, with each other when they first start dating you know don't don't live live with a lie and he said that Rocio knew that he was frugal because when he met her she didn't want to go to the little regular restaurant on the side she wanted to go to a fancy restaurant so um, she knew he was frugal and he knew that she was the type who liked nice things and expensive things. So they both know what they're getting into. They can't be surprised with each other. They know what they were getting into. He knows she's a gold digger and uh, she knows that he is a simple, primitive, frugal guy. 
that doesn't like to spend money on anything and she also knew that he wanted more than one woman as well and they also discussed that because he asked her some silly question about uh, I forgot what he asked her if he could have another wife and I think she told him to answer it and he said oh no since she's willing to have more children or if she's willing to have more children he doesn't need a second wife maybe that's why Rosia wants to get him to move from Africa because when he's out of Africa he's not going to be in that traditional setting and his culture you know what he what he knows best or his culture he, he will not be under that influence and so she can persuade him not to have a second wife or third wife or have kids with other women because he wants a lot of children so she's willing to give him more children guys we'll see how that one goes rosia was on there begging for a ring <laughs> this is the guys rosia subscribers you guys come to me and you say i am jealous of rosio and mawa come on come on rosio is there begging 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 for a ring unbelievable i've never seen a woman beg for a ring and mawa is saying he's not ready to get married i'm sorry and he's he was just laughing about it as a matter of fact she wants an emerald and he said that he'll go in the river to try to find an emerald for her um they're literally forcing them to get married and rocio is literally on her knees begging him to marry her mawa is basically protecting his assets just in case you guys don't know if it doesn't work out rocio can't take him to the cleaners if they are not married when is your wedding rocio answer that i don't know you should answer that like have you ever actually thought of a wedding no because look at my hand there's no proposal Guys, so, you know, I don't even know how to propose. I did. Because I've never proposed. Too. I've never proposed in my life. And I never got married, so I don't I mean, even know how to plan anything. Okay. Maro propose before the baby's here. Okay, okay, guys. Hey, hey. Yeah, okay, I'll have to go to Tanzania to look for uh, Tanzanite. 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 No, to Zambia for Emeralds. Zambia. Yes. We just came from there. You should have told from me. From I I speak, but Godmother well, sometimes doesn't listen. <laughs> ah yeah yeah yeah. Oh, you want Esmera? Esmera. I'll have to start looking for Esmera in Esmeral. in Nairobi. Guys, if you sell Esmera, I'm not a fake one. <laughs> Please write my email. <laughs> write my email, guys. I don't even know where I will propose. And gold. The the ring must be gold. Gold? Of course, yes. Now, Rocio, Nothing like, now, like, Rocio. like, like, like copper. <laughs> now, Rocio, you want me to go to Congo and not come back? <laughs> because that's where the real gold is found. <laughs> <laughs> that's where tomorrow's video will be me looking for Esmera in River YouTube. Show me how the color looks like. Search for me here. It's, uh... Yeah, guys. So I think that was it for Marwa. You know, just let's take this to the comment section, talk about it. Just don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Thank you for always coming back to watch me. It is a pleasure, a pleasure always, having you here. Thank you, and see you in my next video. Bye. I hope you like the hat tonight. Guys, I think you guys already know, I am extra extra i was born extra <laughs> i was born this way i am sorry it's just me you don't think i'm doing it for the camera i was born extra okay <laughs>